Well, hey kids, welcome to Gospel Fuel. Uh, you know, how many of you guys have a room in your house uh, that it's your room, maybe it's your bedroom, maybe, maybe you share it with another, uh, another sibling and you have stuff in that room and, and maybe you have toys and things that you really like. And imagine one day you walk into your room and you see somebody there and they've got a baseball bat and they're throwing your toys up in the air and toosh, they're hitting that. They're, they're hitting those toys with the baseball bat they're, and they're throwing it up and bam, there goes the Lego and bam, there goes your favorite doll and bam, there goes your action figure and bam, there goes your video game. You'd be going, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. You'd want them to stop because they were mis- they're misusing, they're not using your toys properly. That's not how they were intended to be used. Well, there's a story like that in the Bible where Jesus comes into the temple and he finds people there that are not using the temple as it should. And they're misusing it. They've turned the temple, which is supposed to be a place where we remind ourselves how amazing God is and how beautiful God is and how loving God is and how great God is. It was meant for that to go and to worship God and to tell God, oh God, I love you. And how how much do I love you? And how great you are? How much do you love us? How to remind us of how faithful he is. But Jesus rolls up, and what are they doing? They've turned it into like a Walmart. They've turned it into a a business where they're selling things. They turned it into a store where they can make money. And Jesus walks in and sees that, and he sees that they're they're, they're selling animals there, and there's there's sheep, and there's there's oxen, and there's pigeons. And so Jesus tells everybody, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. And he drives everybody out of the temple. Well, why did he do that? And he says, he goes, this was supposed to be a place of worship, but you've turned my father's house into a store. You've turned it into a place where you can just make money. You're misusing the temple, which was supposed to be used to worship and to remind us how amazing God is and how loving God is and how faithful God is. But they, they weren't doing that. The emphasis had gotten off of, they weren't thinking about God anymore. They were thinking about what, they were thinking about how much money they can make. And they were, they were picking up the things of the temple and they were whapping it with the base all that. They were picking up another thing. They were whapping it. And then, whoa, whoa, just like you'd react to all your toys being broken, things that you care about being broken. There was, you know what? Jesus cared about the temple. It says that he had zeal, which means he loved it. He cared about it. He was passionate about it. He had zeal for the temple, zeal for the house of God. It says it consumed him because he wanted everybody to know, guys, it's not about this. It's not about making money. It's about worshiping God. It's about being reminded about how amazing God is. And so Jesus came to just to, to drive everybody out of, that, out of that temple and correct them and say, guys, you're doing it wrong. Let me show you how to do it right. But not only that, he came to be the temple for you and for me. Because imagine if there's only one temple on the whole planet we all had to go to to remind ourselves of how amazing God is. Well, that's not the case anymore. Why? Because Jesus is the temple that can never be destroyed. And so Jesus came to be the temple for you and for me, and we get to be a part of that temple because we're children of God. And that's absolutely amazing. And that is the gift that Jesus gives us. We get to be a part of this temple because what Jesus has done. And that's a temple that will never wear out. That's a temple that can never be broken because Jesus is the one that is that temple for you and for me. And we now, because guess what? When we, when we, when we receive Jesus and place our faith in him, the Bible says the spirit of Christ comes and dwells on the inside of us. But it also says that we are now hidden in Christ with God. We are now in Christ as Christ is in us. So now we're in the brand new temple of Jesus, and it's absolutely 100% amazing. So remind yourself today about how loving God is, how faithful God is, how amazing God is, how amazing Jesus is. And just remember how good Jesus is and how much He cares for you and he loves you. Don't forget that.